A small crack appears on the surface of an egg, fragile, quiet, yet purposeful. Inside, a newborn chick pushes against its shell, driven by an instinct older than agriculture itself. With a final tremor, the shell parts and the chick stretches into the light for the very first time. Its down is damp, its balance uncertain, but it is not alone. All around, thousands more begin to awaken in near-perfect synchrony, filling the chamber with a soft, rising chorus. Here, beneath a gentle canopy of controlled light, life emerges according to a rhythm shaped by both nature and meticulous design. Temperature, humidity, and airflow each measured to the fraction, each whisper of the environment tuned to guide the first breath of every chick. And as these delicate lives gather their strength, the floor beneath them begins to glide. In mere weeks, these small forms will move through one of the most sophisticated food production systems on Earth. From the fragile cracking of a shell to the final stage of packaging, this is the extraordinary journey of the modern industrial chicken. A journey where biology, engineering, and human need converge. The story begins deep within a high-tech hatchery, a place where the quiet chemistry of life meets the precision of modern science. Fertilized eggs arrive from specialized breeder farms, already sorted by size, weight, and shell integrity. Each one is placed on a tray with the exact angle required for safe development. Before they enter incubation, they pass through a series of inspections. Intense beams of LED light reveal the hidden structure inside. Sensors read the shape of the air cell, the position of the yolk, and the slightest variations in the shell's thickness. Only the most uniform eggs continue their journey. Those approved enter the controlled heart of the hatchery. Here, rows of industrial incubators stretch into the distance, vast humming chambers holding tens of thousands of lives in their earliest form. Inside, the temperature remains close to 37.5 degrees Celsius, the warmth of a brooding hen, replicated with remarkable precision. Humidity stays constant. Air flows in gentle, continuous circulation. Every few hours, the machines tilt, turning the eggs in a steady, deliberate rhythm. It is a slow dance that prevents the embryo from settling and mirrors the instinctive motion of a mother tending her nest. For 18 days, the process remains unwavering. Any fluctuation, however small, triggers an immediate alert. Then comes the moment of transition. The eggs move from incubator to hatcher, a chamber designed for the final act of emergence. Here, the humidity rises, softening membranes and easing the chick's escape. Trays slide into large hatching cabinets, each calibrated to deliver constant airflow. Over the next 48 hours, the silence begins to break. First a tap, then a flutter, then thousands of tiny beaks chiseling through shell. A wave of new life spreads across the room. Within hours, the chicks begin to dry, their feathers fluffing into golden softness. Beneath them, the conveyor begins to move once more. Guided by cushions of air and narrow channels, the chicks advance gently through a series of stations. Overhead cameras observe their posture, their movement, even the shimmer of moisture on their down. The strongest continue forward. Here, they encounter one of the earliest safeguards of their lives. Vaccination delivered not by needles, but by mist. A cloud of microscopic droplets drifts across the line. As the chicks breathe and preen, the protective agents settle naturally upon them. It is swift, it is quiet, and it minimizes stress. Warm air tunnels await them next, drying their feathers into fullness. Workers stand nearby, watchful yet distant. The system is designed for minimal human interference, reducing both contamination and anxiety. Soon, the chicks are placed into ventilated transport crates. Space, airflow, and temperature are all finely balanced. Crates are stacked with care and loaded onto climate-controlled trucks. Their destination, broiler farms. And for many, this brief journey marks the only moment they will ever leave an automated environment shaped for their welfare and growth. The broiler farm is the next chapter of their story. From the outside, it may resemble a simple, elongated building resting quietly on open land. But inside lies a carefully tuned habitat, a world engineered around stability, comfort, and close monitoring. As the chicks arrive, they are gently released onto fresh bedding. The air is warm and calm. Automated climate systems respond minute by minute, adjusting heat and ventilation to maintain equilibrium. Fresh air enters through filtered inlets, while exhaust fans draw out moisture and unwanted gases. Lighting follows a natural arc. LEDs brighten slowly, imitating sunrise. 
They dim with the softness of dusk. Too much light and the birds may grow restless. Too little and their feeding patterns falter. Here, light becomes an instrument shaping behavior, guiding rest, orchestrating growth. Feed lines stretch across the length of the building, delivering a balanced mixture of grains, proteins, and minerals. Every pellet is formulated to match the bird's stage of development. Sensors track consumption. Any unusual drop is immediately flagged. Water flows from clean lines equipped with nipple drinkers designed to prevent waste and keep the bedding dry. Growth is monitored constantly. Digital scales placed throughout the house record the bird's weight as they pass over them. Their progress appears as a rising curve on a central dashboard. If the curve drifts, feeding patterns adjust automatically. Air quality is equally critical. Sensors detect ammonia. Ventilation shifts accordingly. In some systems, small robotic rakes glide across the bedding, keeping it even and aerated. They help create a healthier surface beneath the bird's feet. Workers walk the house each day, observing movement patterns, checking equipment, listening for irregularities. Yet much of the oversight happens from afar. Cameras survey every corner. AI systems study the flock's behavior, noticing subtle signs that the human eye might miss. By the time the birds reach 35 to 42 days of age, they have grown into the robust shape that modern diets demand. Teams of trained handlers or in some facilities, automated harvesters collect them gently and place them into transport modules. These modules ensure airflow and protection during the short journey to the processing plant. The plant is the industrial spine of the entire system, a realm of stainless steel, steady motion, and unwavering routine. Upon arrival, the birds enter a quiet receiving area designed to reduce stress. Lighting remains dim, noise is kept low. Temperature and ventilation hold steady. Inside, the overhead rail system takes over. It lifts each bird carefully, positioning them for the sequence ahead. The pace is controlled, calculated to match every stage of the operation that follows. The journey begins with preparation. Workers stand alongside gleaming machinery, supervising rather than intervening. The birds then pass through cleaning tunnels where high-pressure jets of precisely tempered water wash them thoroughly yet gently. The next stage is evisceration, performed with mechanical consistency and remarkable accuracy. Specialized systems remove internal organs in synchronized motions. Sensors confirm alignment. Robotic blades make exact incisions. Throughout, strict hygiene protocols guide every movement. Additional washes prepare the birds for one of the most critical steps, chilling. Two methods dominate the industry. In air chill systems, carcasses travel through long refrigerated corridors where purified cold air circulates around them. The process cools gradually, preserving texture and reducing moisture. Water chill systems, by contrast, immerse the carcasses in icy baths, kept in motion by gentle paddles. Temperature is monitored precisely. Regulations ensure the cooling is swift and complete. Both methods serve a single, essential purpose safety. Once chilled, the birds enter the cutting and deboning area, the technological heart of the plant. Here, vision-guided robotics scan each carcass. Blades adjust their angles in real time, cutting with a speed and precision impossible for human hands. Breasts, wings, thighs, and drumsticks separate cleanly, each piece following its designated path. Inspectors line the belts under bright white lights, removing anything that falls short of the standard. Sorting systems group portions by size and weight. High-speed sensors count them. Software logs their origins, creating a chain of traceability that can follow any package back through the entire system farm, hatchery, even the very day it was processed. In packaging, air is drawn from sealed films. Labels appear instantly with weight, date, and destination. Metal detectors scan every item. Finally, products pass into cooling tunnels, then onward to chilled storage. Behind the scenes, microbiologists test surfaces and samples. Engineers calibrate machinery. Sanitation teams perform deep cleaning between production cycles. Waste, too, is managed with purpose. Feathers, fats, and organic material are separated for rendering and reuse, transformed into pet food ingredients or industrial products. Little is discarded. In vast cold rooms, pallets of finished goods await transport. Barcodes glow under scanners. Data flows into digital logs. Trucks reverse into loading bays, ready to carry these products across regions, nations, and continents. For the chicken that began as a faint tremor inside an eggshell, 
the journey is complete. But for the system that carried it, the cycle is only beginning again. For behind every crate of hatchlings, every climate-controlled barn, every humming processing line, lies a profound and enduring objective to feed a world whose population grows by the hour, to do so safely, to do so reliably, and to do so at a scale once unimaginable. Yet beneath all the steel and circuitry, beneath the long corridors of cold air and the calibrated glow of LED lights, there remains a single, grounding truth. Every journey in this vast chain begins with the quiet insistence of life, a chick pushing gently against its shell, seeking the light. A moment so small, yet it sets an entire global rhythm into motion. A rhythm that continues long after one line ends and another begins. Sustained by innovation, by science, and by the simple, persistent will to live,